Today we have a 2004 Toyota Sienna with a 3MZ engine. So a vehicle with that 3.3 is gonna be similar. I believe also the 3.0 engines are similar as well. We're gonna be removing the power steering pump to be replaced. So first thing we're gonna do is disconnect the uh, feed line as well as the high pressure line here. So the feed line obviously is just a clamp. So just pull this clamp, get the hose out the way. And then with, I believe it's a either 23 or 24, you have to come over here and remove the, um, well, obviously first you're gonna want to disconnect this connector here. And I'm at a weird angle, so it's gonna be kind of weird for me to get this, but once we disconnect that, we're gonna go ahead and remove this here, which the connector sits in. It's just a banjo bolt, basically. Number 23 or 24, I can't recall. We're gonna go ahead and remove that and get this line out the way. And just and keep in mind, there's two crush washers in between. Just make sure those come out removed. Uh, since we're going to be replacing those as well. So let's get those lines out the way and then we'll get to the pump. Now with those hoses disconnected, feed line as well as the high pressure line, we're going to loosen the 12 millimeter nut right there as you can see with my wrenches. It's basically like a hinge. And then from here, loosen this and we'll be able to push the um, power steering pump down so that feed belt will lose tension. We'll remove the belt from there once we do that. I did forget to mention this is also a number 12. Once we loosen the top one and loosen this here, we can pretty much manipulate the pump freely now and get this belt out the way here. So let's get this out. All right, so now with my belt removed, we can go ahead and get the power steering pump out. Now, the method they want you to do is remove this as well as that nut up top that we loosened earlier and just pull it all out with these brackets that it sits on. However, I'm gonna try to do something a little different. Um, use a little 14 here to hold the nut on this end that holds this bracket here. And then on the back side, <clears throat> we're gonna remove two 14 millimeters here. They're on the bracket, that hinge part. So we're gonna remove that and hopefully just slide it out and then we can slide the main one in. All right, so I tried my method instead of removing those two bolts that you're supposed to do. Just the only reason why I'm doing this because I've had issues in the past with the top bracket. Um, but since here that I will hit the exhaust and I'll fold the top bolt, so. I'll try one more thing. If that doesn't work, you just have to remove it. But I'm gonna remove this number 14 here, just so I can, you know, basically move this around even. You know, I'm just gonna remove this whole thing here. So remove this number 12 here from there. If I can see if I can manipulate it further, which I cannot. So I failed with that part, so I just omit that. So if you think about doing it that way, it doesn't work just because of the top bolt up there, but. Um, also, I didn't mention earlier, there's a nut on the top well, the top bolt and the bottom bolt here that go on the back side for the bracket. Um, pretty much, like I said, I'm only, stuck, I'm only stuck on the top one. So let's go ahead and remove the whole bolt on the top and get this whole assembly out. Okay guys, so I got it out. And now that I'm looking at this one, I think the last one I did, someone rigged something up because I had issues here. And it looks like the OEM one. It has a little slip for you to get the bolt in and out easily. But anyways, let's transfer these brackets. There'll be one 14 millimeter bolt on this end that we have to transfer over. And then we'll guide all these on the other side and reinstall the bracket. All right, now with our bracket transferred over, we're gonna go ahead and install this into the vehicle. Uh, that bolt, just slip it in and then slide through and then we'll install that tensioner uh, bolt as well. So let's go ahead and get Okay, good. so I have the pump installed now, that bolt up top, this one's in. So now I'm just gonna bring our belt back over. And pretty much just have it installed. And then now it's like this, it's gonna pull back slightly, just give it some tension, tighten this bolt, and then the other 12 millimeter up top to keep it in place. And then we'll go ahead and start installing our hoses. All right, also our pump is installed for compressor noise. Our uh, pump's installed, the belt's installed, a little tension is fine. We're going to go ahead and install the high pressure hose, which I have over to the side here. So the pressure switch will sit in there uh, with a new crush washer on this end, as well as a new crush washer on the power steering side. So it'll sit like this, the hose, and then the pressure switch on top with the crush washer here. So let's go ahead and install this. And this is a 23, by the way. Okay, guys, so our pump is now fully installed. Both our hoses are in place. The uh, connectors plug back in on top so now we gotta do is add um, dextron 3 atf and bleed out the system and run it and we'll be done so thanks for watching please like subscribe for more videos come